Assalamu alaikum dear viewers how are you hope you all are fine dear friends our today's lesson is about loops in python as we all know that sometimes we need to execute a code several number of times for example you want to print hello four times a loop statement is used for this purpose this is the general syntax of a loop statement you type a loop command with colon after it in the next lines, you have one or more statements you want to execute. Remember to have an indent before every statement below the loop command. Now let's begin. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. There are two kinds of loops. The first kind of loop carry out a code repeatedly for a specific number of times. You predefine the number of times you want to repeat a code. For example, you want to print something 10 times. Or you want to find the square root of numbers from 1 to 100. Here again you know the start and end points. You know the number of repetitions. We have another situation in which we don't know the number of repetitions. We don't predefine how many times a loop should repeat. Here you provide a condition means you want to carry out a code repeatedly until a specific condition is fulfilled. For example, there is a bag full of numbers. Each time you pick a random number and find its square root. The condition is that you will have to repeat this process until you randomly pick a number greater than 10. Then you stop. Here you don't know after how many repetitions a number greater than 10 will be picked. It may be the first number or it may be after 100 numbers or even more repetitions. In this example, the loop will stop at 20 because it is greater than 10. The first random number that we picked in the series. Now let's take some daily life examples of both kinds of loops. In the first kind of loop, for example, you want to put your mobile on charge for 5 minutes. You know the time. In the second case, you put your mobile on charge until it is fully charged. Here we have a condition instead of a specific time. The second example is that you want to drink exactly 8 glasses of water per day, while in the second case, you put a condition of quenching your thirst. You drink water until your thirst is gone. Example number 3. You want to walk exactly 10 steps towards north. In another case, you don't know the number of steps. You have a condition, that is the specific target. You walk until you reach that target. Example number four. You want to add 100 cups of water in a bucket. You know the number of cups. But in the second case, you apply the condition, that is until the bucket is full. You want to climb up and then down a stairs exactly 12 times. But in the second case, you repeat this up and down process unless you are tired or exhausted. Now let me differentiate these two kinds of loops through animation. First kind of loop. This arrow will cycle three times. It will happen like this. Loop 1, loop 2 and loop 3. In the second kind of loop, the arrow will repeat until we click on the mouse button. In this example, you don't know the number of cycles, you just know the condition, that is mouse button is clicked. Ok, now I am going to click the mouse button. You see, the arrow has stopped rotating. The first kind of loop is called for loop. It is used for iterating over a sequence such as string, list, tuple and set etc. It executes a sequence of statements a specific number of times. Number of times is predefined in for loop. The second kind of loop is called while loop. It repeatedly executes a statement as long as a given condition is true. While loop doesn't stop unless the condition becomes false. Now let's come towards the syntax of while loop and for loop. This is the syntax of while loop. In this loop, you need to have a starting point. Here it is zero. You can have any starting point. Just after the while command, you have to type a condition, which will determine the last point. The third thing you need is to have a statement that shows the direction 
an amount of progress. On the right side, we have a for loop. This is simple. You need for command, a sequence, and a statement. Let's now compare both of them. The start point in for loop is here, this zero of the list. This is the end point in this loop. And the direction and amount of progress is already present in the list. These two loops will give you the same output. Let's do it practically. Let's try while loop first. You first saved a string in a variable. For example, I stored Roshan in variable x. Now determine the start point. Here we stored the start point 0 in a variable called count. Now type while command and put a condition to determine the end point. Here the condition is that the loop will repeat until the number of characters in the string. Then we print each letter of the string. Then in the next line we increase the value of count by 1. Now let's see the for loop. First you type par command and then you type the string and then print the variable which will be all the characters of the string one by one. The result of these two will be the same. Let's see. Let's take another example. Here we want to print numbers from 0 to 4. The for loop is simple. You just make a list of numbers from 0 to 4. And you then put that list in the for loop. However, on the other hand, in the while loop, just like in previous example, you have to have a starting point. That is, count equals 0. Then you have a condition. The condition here is that all the integers less than 5 will be printed. Then you have the print command to print those numbers. And in the end, you increase the count by 1. Now let's see it practically.
Here, instead of list, I am taking an example of tuple in the for loop. While loop will remain the same. Let's apply. I am not going to do the while loop because it is the same as you saw in the previous example. Now let's take another example. This time we are taking set. Both of these loops will show the same out. While loop will remain the same as you saw in the previous example. Only for loop is different here. Let me show again only for loop. The while loop remains the same. Now let's take a different example. Instead of printing the count, let's print something else. For example, print Roshan. Let's test this with both loops. You can use a range command in for loop instead of a list, tuple, set, or string. Again, the while loop is similar to the previous example, only the for loop will change. You can type this instead of that. It will work the same way. So that was all for today. Thanks and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Bye.